All right. Well, then we'll face each other and exchange kisses. Right. That's fine. That's good. Well, we're gathered here today in the presence of witnesses and uh, family members for the purpose of uniting matrimony, Paul and James. The contract of marriage is most solemn and not to be entered into lightly but thoughtfully with a deep realization of its obligations and a deep realization of its responsibilities. Please remember that love, loyalty, and understanding are the foundations of a happy and enduring home. No other human ties are more tender and no other vows are more important than those that you are about to pledge. I'd ask you to face each other and if you could join hands and Paul, well, if you could repeat after me to James and uh, I ask you the following question. Do you, Paul, take this man, James, to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And do you promise to love him and to comfort him, to honor him and to keep him in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, for better or for worse, and to be faithful to him as long as you both show him? I do. And do you, James, take this man, Paul, to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And do you promise to love him and to comfort him, to honor him, and to keep him in sickness and in health for richer, for poorer, for better, or for worse, and to be faithful to him as long as you both show live? I do. Now, in lieu of the exchange of rings, um, it uh, would be a wonderful occasion just to exchange kisses. In lieu of exchange uh, rings. And, I will just conclude by saying uh, that now you, uh, that you have uh, joined yourselves formally in matrimony, may you strive all of your lives to meet this commitment with the same sense of love and devotion that you now possess and by the virtue of the authority uh, vested in me, finally, uh, by the state of California as a deputy marriage commissioner. It is my great honor uh, to pronounce you spouses for life. Congratulations. Congratulations.